Nobel Prize winner Isaac Bashevis Singer wrote in his best-selling novel, Enemies, a Love Story, the following. As often as Herman had witnessed the slaughter of animals and fish, he always had the same thought. In their behavior toward creatures, all men were Nazis. The smugness with which man could do with other species as he pleased exemplified the most extreme racist theories. The principle that might is right. The comparison here to the Holocaust is both intentional and obvious. One group of living beings anguishes beneath the hands of another. Though some will argue the suffering of animals cannot possibly compare with that of former Jews or slaves, there is, in fact, a parallel. And for the prisoners and victims of this mass murder, their Holocaust is far from over. In his book, The Outermost House, author Henry Beston wrote, We need another and a wiser and perhaps a more mystical concept of animals. Remote from universal nature and living by complicated artifice, man in civilization surveys the creatures through the glass of his knowledge and sees thereby a feather magnified and the whole image in distortion. We patronize them for their incompleteness, for their tragic fate of having taken form so far below ourselves. And therein we err, and greatly err. For the animal shall not be measured by man. In a world older and more complete than ours, they move finished and complete, gifted with extensions of the senses we have lost or never attained. Living by voices we shall never hear. They are not brethren. They are not underlings. They are other nations. Caught with ourselves in the net of life and time fellow prisoners of the splendor and travail of the earth.